All right, time to do another video. Let's talk about these batteries because I'm getting questions about them. These are the Sprinter Van Lithium Iron Phosphate 14S uh, 2P battery modules, right? We have a few of these modules. We have like two, two vans worth. And so people want to get these because they're, I think there's a good price. And these are very, very small when, it, when you talk to about uh, lithium iron phosphate, right? So they're very compact because they come out of, a, out of a van, you know? So they usually on automotive applications, they try to make the batteries really tight and small and light so that uh, they don't take a lot of room, right? So the, the space is at a premium when you're talking about a vehicle, right? And so people are asking me what BMS I recommend for them to use on these. And I'm like, well, just a regular jk bms will work right these are smart bms's that can you can set them to i think anywhere between 8s to 16s and so this bms right here you can set it up in there and then connect it the cool thing about these modules is that they come with the connectors we have the connectors so that you don't have to mess with it all you do is just connect it in here right so i even just figure out the wiring uh, the pinout on these connectors, right? I just kind of, it's easy because you have access to the actual terminals. Let's say that you didn't have these connectors. These would be easy because you have access to the main terminal. So you could just bring the uh, the balance leads from your BMS and then just connect it straight into your, your terminal here. You could put like a, you could solder it in there. There's like these little things. Uh, those right there are spot welded. So you could get some uh, material there and spot welded and that you could do that. But Again, we don't have to do it because we have the connectors. Hypothetically here, if you didn't have the connectors, you could even do that. That's the cool thing about having batteries that have that you have access to the terminals, right? Uh, in this case, it's super easy. You don't have to use them. So what BMS, this BMS will work. And now what inverter? That's the other question that I'm getting. And these are 14S, so they're not quite 48. They're about 44 volts nominal. And what you can do is you can use any of a uh, couple of three lines i think that victron has the multi plus there's several other ones usually victrons have a really wide range of voltage uh range on the on the input right so that means you could use these even though they're like four volts under the standard 48 volt you could use them and also the same thing for the solar charge controls you can use them but here's another thing that you could do these are 320 amp hours you could just get regular uh, lithium iron phosphate batteries uh, and then add two more in here. You just add two of the 314 or 320. There are even some 320s out there. And then you just connect the positive from here to the negative and right, you, so you add two more. And then those two wires, you also connect them to your BMS. And now instead of having a 14S, now you have a 16S, which is now the standard for uh, you know 52 volts that it's, the, it's a 48 volt standard. And it, then you can use these with any inverter, like al almost any inverter will work that. It will work with lithium iron phosphate. This battery will work here because now there's no, there's no weirdness in the voltage. There's no four volts missing in there, right? And so there's two ways you can use these. You can add, and the cool thing about this is the capacity matches uh, readily available cells, right? Uh, and so, or you could just use them as this. I would recommend just using them as this and then you, uh, you know, avoid having to figure out how to put those cells in there. You just use Victrons. Victrons are good inverters. They're, they're kind of on the pricey side, I think, but that's because they're really high quality. Uh, so the only way, the only reason why I would recommend you, you add the two extra cells is if you already have your inverters and you're trying to get, you know, an affordable, cheap, like good, high quality lithium iron, uh, lithium iron phosphate battery that, uh, that is at a good price or whatever. And then that's what you would do that, right? But if you're starting from the ground up, just, you know, get a Victron and then use them as this. Connect these, connect them to the wires, harness of your BMS and you're ready to go. So by the way, we have these at uh, Jack 35. There's not that many of these. We have a couple of pallets. And then once these are gone, I don't know if we're gonna get any more because these were early pre-production test units. So these don't have any miles on them. So these are brand new, right? I mean, not brand new, but like unused. They don't, they haven't been cycled a bunch of times. And so, yeah, once these are gone, they're gone. Uh, they've been there, we've sold a few of them. They haven't, but I think a lot of people have these questions and they keep asking us and I have kept keep answering them. So that's why I figure I make this video just to kind of help people figure it out. So there you go. Sprinter van, lithium iron phosphate modules.
at jack35.com. Thank you for watching this video. We'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.